What up traders, what up investors, we got something super exciting today. I don't know if you guys met this guy before, ever heard of this guy before. This so this guy is the, basically has been dealing with Barcel Sports. It's a huge sports guy, is getting sports betting. Since sports completely closed down, he has completely dumped about $2 million, I believe, uh, into the stock market. Uh, and he's just been day trading, live streaming it. It's been absolutely hilarious to see his uh, his attitudes, his decision making, and what he invests in. Uh, so this one in particular, what we're going to be talking about is his fairly bullish uh, position in Alibaba. That's ticker symbol B A B A, and they recently had earnings. Uh, I believe that was on Friday. Uh, they had earnings uh, Thursday, uh, and they didn't do too well, as you can recall. They actually did tank quite a bit uh, Thursday into Friday. Uh, not really great, basically uh, closing down a little over 5%, but going down further. Uh, but we can go ahead and look at this uh, Dave Portnoy. He's hilarious, dude. Uh, I can't play some of these videos because he curses quite a bit uh, and just yells at the camera and tells everyone to F off and to do what they think is right. Uh, I like his opinion. He's got a very strong opinion. Uh, he, you can see here, without even turning the audio on, he is very uh, uh, expressive of his speech on the way he makes his decisions and things like that. It's not saying it's wrong, but it's just saying that he is a, a super interesting folk, and he's definitely bringing a lot of new traders into the market. Um, so that being said, we're going to look at Alibaba here in a second. This is basically how the Barstool's Dave Portner revives his old E-Trade account, basically with him on top of other folks are actually getting into buying and day trading stocks due to the fact that there's no sports betting currently going on. So they're betting within the markets and within options and stocks, which is interesting uh, because you can kind of go through the article here. This is where Dave actually started with $3 million and he think actually made $1 million in one day uh, which was quite interesting, uh, which is awesome um, for him, for sure. But he's now back to even. Again, he's literally dumps in majority shares. I don't know exactly his schema of thinking. I think he just uses his basic logic in his head on what he thinks is right or wrong. Uh, we're going to be talking about some of his uh, interesting takes on Baba. Uh, we're going to be throwing our technical side of things in. He's still holding it, he's saying, potentially for a swing higher. Um, you can kind of see here with the trends um, from the data streck uh, showing that with the casino and buying stocks is kind of in parallel in the sense of that lack of a better words. And again, Charles Schwab, TD America Trade are both seeing a high increase of new folks and new accounts being created. You can see that probably on Robinhood, they don't share their numbers. Um, then you also see a lot of people getting their stimulus check and there's a lot of reports of people dumping their stimulus check into Robinhood or a via a trading account, which is, yeah, so th that is happening. Um, so let's go ahead and let's look at what uh, Dave uh, is looking at and why he's potentially still holding uh, Alibaba. Again, I, I tell you, go through his Twitter. Uh, it's absolutely quite funny. Uh, he's, he's he goes through the whole call at of for Alibaba, and he just took it. It's just it's super entertaining. Like uh, the guy is hilarious. I'm not gonna call him crazy, but uh, definitely a very entertaining thing to watch. I wouldn't be taking too much financial advice or mimicking what he is doing for sure. Um, so that being said, Alibaba is one of the largest conglomerate here uh, in the United States, and the uh, recent earnings call wasn't the greatest, uh, losing quite a bit of money. Uh, looking at its all-time high at $231, and now we're trading at, as of yesterday, right below $200. Um, technically, looking at the daily chart here, um, it's be it closed below 21, which it has before, but... Uh, as I would tell Dave, is there is support here at 195 if it decides to go to that even to that level, potentially getting a nice bounce there. Uh, we did see some support here previously. We had some support here as well. Um, the 5 and 8 haven't crossed over yet, and the 5 and 8 haven't crossed through the 21 as well, which is also a great indicator for potential more strength. But 
The Parabolic SAR has switched, so we could be looking for some trading sideways. Again, we could be hovering right above the 200 exponential moving average, or we could kind of just bounce around here in the 21. So basically between 195 and, and 204, 205, within that $10 range uh, for some time until uh, the economy gets going or something great news. There's another... Uh, earnings report comes out, which is probably most likely is just going to trade sideways until people kind of forgive uh, what happened and better understand what the quarter was about and then get uh, pumped higher. Whew. So that being said, we can kind of look at some other more recent indicators. Again, did have a huge gap down, but it had a huge gap up. So a lot of the people who were most likely betting, uh, I'm saying betting because uh, we all know that earnings call is a complete coin flip. And we don't have a crystal ball to be able to tell on what's happening. So that being said, we have to be very mindful of this huge gap up here. We have retraced that gap, this gap up here, due to this gap down here. So basically, all the folks who potentially bought previously to try to ride up the quarter are, are now all out. So this could be a nice little super bounce play looking for a potential V-shaped bottom. Um, I wanted to look at some Fib retracements uh, really here. So you can kind of see here it broke the 618 percentile move here, but it did close below the 50% 50 retracement. Um, we do have, again, ongoing support around the 195. That would be level one support, uh, meaning that's the first level of support on the way down. Again, that's around literally uh, falls into the 195 range. Uh, and then we have some the 38.2 percentile uh, move as well, which is right below that at 195 three ish let's call it 183 and a half um and then that would be like level two would be further down around 190 potentially with this low candle here um uh, but we could kind of just draw that line here as well create that at or below there and then for ongoing support uh or for resistance it's going to be the 618 so it's going to be this is going to be a pretty heavy move because it was a gap up and then gap down. We need to break through that 207 for the initial support. We need the parabolic SAR to kind of switch over. Looking here on a weekly chart, it's literally coming down to the 21 here um, and for a potential bounce. Uh, this honestly might be a play that I'll be playing um, within some options, looking at selling some puts in around this level or around the 195 level if it gets close to that level. Um, to kind of collect that premium um, because the parabolic SAR on the weekly chart is still pretty high. Uh, I'm not sure how long Dave has held this stock, but that being said, he's getting a lot of criticism over because he's buying Chinese stock and whatever and things like that. You can go political on that um, any what way. But that being said, it, ha it looks really interesting on the weekly chart. Let's go pop over to this wonderful chart here. Do, 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 do. So it's still within the the major deviation again. So we're looking between the one uh, 210 down to 195. So that within that 15% range, uh, it is still somewhat reasonable, and it's something that it's not outside its unexpected uh, unex unexpected moves. So that being said. I like the stock potentially if it comes down to 195, keeping it on a very short leash, uh, maybe selling some puts, or if you're not into options, you can buy just some uh, couple uh, stocks, a uh, couple uh, long, uh, long, not even long call, sorry, just buying the stock right out. Um, again, don't just dump in your whole portfolio into it. Again, keep this, be mindful of this, uh, and be smart about it you just don't dump in your position all at once uh and hoping and praying for a bounce higher uh you kind of have to wait for the overall market to show it and prove it to you on the sense of getting that bounce if it if this bounce uh respects it it respects your money and you should be able to uh get a nice return out of it if it all works out but just be mindful of these moving averages on these crossovers again usually a day after earnings like two or three days after earnings it kind of takes a little bit to digest um and potentially could see some further downside uh so i wouldn't be initially just jumping on this bull really fast for a potential kick higher and there could be a little bit more of the bear and weak hands that need to be shaked out potentially before this can even get to where it should be uh pr really priced value because I think this is kind of an over, uh, a lot of things are said, 
that this is a way down move. This shouldn't really have been represented in the market. Uh, again, this is coming from Dave Portnor. Um, I don't know the fundamentals behind it, but that being said, the chart is telling me looking at the 195 for support, Dave. Hopefully, this appreci you appreciate this and that uh, we can uh, talk about this, get you on the call, and we can do some awesome technical analysis. We can go through some of your other positions. So that being said, we're going to look at this again, the sum up of this, looking for potential more downside uh, to the 195 and then overhead support. Uh, overhead resistance at 208 ish again keeping very mindful of these moving averages if they get close or going through the 21 potentially would be a nice buying opportunities for a quick bounce or a v-shape recovery due to the fact of a lot of uh getting out of those hands that have bought it pre-earnings again this is going basically like a fomo trade the opposite direction this is going to be when a lot of people are scared and like oh the stock's done it's over uh but that when that happens and that switches turns, you could get a nice little rocket higher. That being said, again, be super mindful of it is a Chinese company. Yes, it does trade in the United States. But that being said, we'll see what happens from Alibaba. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're interested, we have a fantastic Discord chat down below. We also have a Patreon page if you want to go look out and get some uh, custom watch lists, some uh, charts and things like that we post there. I greatly appreciate everyone's support. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe if you learned something today. Again, this is Ken from the Dyslexic Investor and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace!